good morning welcome back so today is day three and unbelievable yesterday the sun was up but today at the same time the sun is not up so yesterday we did some an amazing work we got to go through uh, different nutrients that are needed for feed formulation we got to go one by one identifying them and getting to know exactly where these nutrients needed and other than that uh, it was also amazing since we also went to the lab to physically see them to physically assess them and today it's day three now whereby we'll be talking about the numbers the maths behind the feeds formulation and i'm super excited and as you can be able to see behind me it's just um the training facility which we are currently attending i believe by now is still a bit early because um it's just being prepared so not going meanwhile how about we go outside and as we wait for well a bit of breakfast because yeah i've just come early for breakfast but um we're still waiting it for it to be ready and hopefully along the way we can be able to meet maybe some of the entrepreneurs who are attending the feed and uh, you never know. So, um, so far, I was just wondering uh, how many of you find the whole thing a bit insightful. I know most of the guys want to go to poultry farming. Other people definitely want to go to feed formulation. But then again, how many of you have been keen enough since the day one to be able to see some of the things we've been highlighting all along the way? So let me know in this comment section below and yeah, see how it is. Basically outside now, so I guess uh, you can be, as you can be able to see, it's a little bit different. Um, there's a bit of more to more lighting and it's just, it's just really cool. This is something that I'm really super, super, super excited. Knowing that a few months back we started Afri Pharma Feed Mill, uh, whereby we've just been relying on more of, uh, well, getting information here and there. Well, of course, working with a few experts and a bit of uh, capacity building, but knowingly, now attending this kind of training will definitely uh, change the face of Afri Pharma, the face of Afri Pharma Feed, because once you invest in knowledge well everything tends to change and um, we can be able to get most of our most of our feeds to be well quality to be quality feeds um to meet the animal care requirement uh, and it's not just formulating the feeds um, i've come to understand uh, since we arrived we have actually been talking a lot about uh the digestion, digestion system, why is it needed, how are these feeds assimilated and of course how are these nutrients are uh, utilized in the body. So I think um, if you ever go to feed formulation then this is something you need to know. You need to invest in knowledge, you need to know why do you make these feeds, uh, why do you use the nutrients A, nutrients B, nutrients E and why is it necessary and if you don't do that then what can happen to you so um walk with me this journey i believe today is going to be amazing as well and as usual i will definitely share the insight and stay tuned and of course i'm really missing the afri farmer facility and um I think uh, everything is going on well on that side, though we're also not doing production at the moment because we did most of our sales last uh, week, as you remember, so we were taking in a little bit of gap at the same time. So till next time, stay tuned and see what will go on. Meanwhile, let's get to see the beauty in facility. So the sun is still not up, but hey, look at that, it's beautiful. The facility is set somewhere amazing. Look at that kind of environment. So that building right there, uh, the Dairy Training Institute, it seems like it's way huge. That's where we tend to go for, well, our training. And it expands all the way to that further end there. So it's, it's, it's such a huge, and you can see some of the stuff I've just gotten in. But hey, 
this is the most amazing thing. It has an amazing world and it's, it's just really great and I'm super, super excited. Uh, so for now we have seen, let me go for breakfast as I have seen there, people are getting ready. So I'll be ready for today's session and I can be able to share the same insight with you guys. So um, I'm, ju I'm just excited and a big shout out to KCIC for making this happen. Man, it's just unbelievable how this organization is really helping and facilitating entrepreneurs in capacity building in even in investment in a lot of things i think in our country we definitely need this kind of this kind of organization that can actually grow the entrepreneurial culture within our country so um i'm just about to go to the dining and now, as usual, I rarely film inside the dining facility, so I guess I'll see you once I go to the training facility. Let's go. 22 of what? Of which brand and not of the cotton seed cake? Remember, we are multiplying what? Across. Now it is 22, but it is of the what? So guys, huh? this is the most weirdest thing, yeah? You can be able to see this kind of calculations we've been trying to do. So for example, here we were trying to formulate the feeds for layers. And obviously you start with the energy giving nutrients and uh, that's where you see something like maize jam. Uh, we have things like the whole grain, uh, things such as uh, wheat, uh, pollen. And of course the numbers you see, these are different components in terms of uh, dry, uh, what, what's the name, dry what? Dry, 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 this is the name for dry what? Dry matter. Dry matter, and the first one was for? Uh, Mizjam. Oh, and the CP, yeah. So in terms of uh, dry matter, in terms of the crude proteins, and you tend to calculate, and you can now be able to see the component you're going to mix. For this one, we were trying to do like, uh, thousand kgs and hey they are now an easier way so let's go check the computers how you're able to do this and um it's an insightful one we have just finished um the third day and uh, i think it's mid 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 afternoon and uh, what's going on is next we are actually going to do our practicals and this now based on using the ATMLs, using uh, Excel sheets to help us uh, finalize on formulation. Obviously, for the last, obviously for the last eight hours, we have been talking and doing more about feed formulation. This is on computerization. This is on uh, determining various aspects in terms of ratios. So basically, it's been more about the numbers. And this way it gets interesting. Um, sometimes you get people, they ask you, uh, give me the feed formulation. What are the ratio do you use? And rarely do we even go into details to understand um, the maths behind that, the nutrients you use, and why do you use a certain percentages. We got introduced to various methods you use to determine or rather to determine the best ratio to mix. For example, if you have uh, two products and you want to have a certain ratio, how can you be able to uh, mix them? And if you have different uh, products, then with different uh, components in terms of nutrients, 
then how do you get to use? So basically, that's what we've been using. Um, I think later on, I'll be sharing uh, more into detail uh, how do you go about this. But for now, um, as you guys can be able to see, I've been a hectic day. I'm super tired. And obviously, I usually used to make a joke that um, maths wasn't my thing. But hey, here we are. We used to joke that in school. Um, so basically, it's important to determine the right ratios because if you want to formulate the right feed or quality feeds, then you need to know which uh, component or which nutrients goes to where. So basically, that's what we have been doing for the whole uh, of today. And right now, we are now um, going to the computer lab because um, now we need to discuss now the computerized system, which kind of a system can you be able to use? Uh, because obviously, one of the methods we've been using is trial and error. And um, the... Um, the downside of that is you might end up spending a lot of time trying out and you may not get the right thing. So is there an easy way to do that? So that's where we're going that. Let's use this one. Let's use this one. Don't worry. Oh, okay.